friends, and welcome back to the beautiful world of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Apparently this right here is the bailiff's office. Um, so this, this lock was locked last night when I was looking around for the bailiff. It was a very hard lock. Um, there's no like actual sign out here saying this is the bailiff's house, but apparently this is it. So, um, I'm gonna have a look around. Definitely have a look around. Okay. Ooh, is there any prisoners? No. This is where I stay the night if I make troubles. Very hard. Nobody's in there, right? I think so. But I haven't seen the bailiff yet. Um, but I hope he's gonna come around and talk to me. That would be useful. Oh, I'm in a private area. Oh, there's no one here though. Ooh. You better believe I'm gonna try and get away with some shenanigans here. Oh yeah. I will try and lockpick all the locks I can. Oh. Well, we got skill. That's that's even more valuable than loot, right? Hello? Okay, um There's nobody here. Hello? Probably shouldn't be stealthing around someone's house saying hello. But whatever. You know, I'll just pretend I'm lost. If they find me. Okay. Oh, yes. Ah. I'm no longer trespassing. Hello? Hard. I don't think I can open that. If it says it's too difficult, right? Yes. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay, yes. We don't want to waste our lockpicks. That would be silly. I wonder if he, like, patrols around. He seems to have a giant area with which to wander. So, hello? Mr. Bailiff? Uh, oh, this is him. Is this him? There he is. Excuse me, sir. Hello. Jesus Christ be praised. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, join his service? I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Yes. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed. Yes. yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little. And as it happens, you've come at the right time. Good. There are a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Uh-huh. Um... You can rely on me. You yes. On me, time to suck up. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Um... Do I, why do I tell him? Yes, I can I just say yes, I have? <laughs> I have. And I have the breezes to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Okay, that was a well, good anyway, answer. anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, bailiff. Okay, but, um, is there anything going on? Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Okay, good. Keeping the peace. Game saved. All right. So, as you can tell, this time in this episode, we are definitely, um, going to keep continue doing this quest. Okay. Eleven. What time is it now? Did it say between 11 and keeping the peace in the afternoon? Okay. Probably could go there now then, right? He said to stop by the armory and get some gear, but I already have gear. You know? Oh, I know. Oh. 
You, sir. You, sir, are someone that I need to steal something from. I don't think you have it, like, in your person. I could knock him out. Oh, God, that's such a bad idea right now. Can I get away with it? Holy shit. Oh. This is such a bad idea, Henry. Oh my god. I can't. No one saw me. There it is. Oh my god. Salami, trunk key. Holy shit. Okay, well... doing tonight? I'm taking a stroll by his house, wherever he lives. I don't remember where it was, but oh yes. Oh my god, that was so amazing. Did I get away with that? Alright, let's just carry on. Hello? Disdain not our supplications in our distress, but deliver us from perils. Parish priest, hello. Are you the jerk that was in the meeting before? No, you weren't. You're not. Hey, watch it. I'm sorry. I remember you. I remember you, Shake's Fist. Hello? <sighs> All right, I'm supposed to meet someone here. I wonder if he's gonna find the body of that guy. I will hide him better tonight if he's still there, but I think he'll wake up naked in the bush and just be like, what? <laughs> Where am I? Why am I in this bush? What happened to my ring and all of my clothes? I was ambushed. Someone call the gods. I love this game. <laughs> all right, where the hell is the dude I'm supposed to be? Yeah, we're supposed to be just there. Pick up your kit from there. Oh, okay, I have to go do this first, probably. I see. Hello. Hello, Hans. How are you today? He gave me a glare. He doesn't like me so much right now. But I'm convinced that we'll be friends. It's a tavern. Okay. The armory. The armory. Where are you? Cobbler? Say armory. Ah, okay. Um, hello. I'm here for my I was stuff. Told to pick up a kit here. Name. Henry. And in fealty to Sir Radzik Kobola. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. God, if why my is memory serves me? You're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? Yes, I, I would. Equipment. Please. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. It's fine. Now I'm freaking over encumbered again. Gosh dang it. <sighs> okay, um... Light padded armor, which is worse than what I'm wearing, so I'm probably not even going to wear it. Tall. I'm going to keep what I have on. This, though... This is also not better than what I have. But it's free stuff. Common bassinet. We can wear that. That's, that's I guess, an upgrade. It's uh, not very stealthy, but, you know, that's fine. This is better than what I have, though. Oh, 
Anyways, and charisma. Quilted brown jackets. Fancy buttons. So, um, 26, 28. Yeah. Yeah, that's just better. Um, I don't know if I want to wear it, though, right now, because, because I'm, I'm paranoid, you know, that people are going to realize... <laughs> I've done it. I've picked up my kit at the armory. Thank you! What the hell? Now... I can go... To the dude bro. I can probably sell some stuff quick and get back to my, under my encumbrance limit pretty easily. Rate. It's a nice little town. It's kind of easy to get around in too, which I which I definitely like. Um, I'm wondering if like they restock the guards after I knock them out. <laughs> like that one time when I not when I was here and knocked out two guards. Trader. Hello, sir. Have you got any trading? To you, sir. Trading abilities while you're walking around? No. My helmet's so cute. Sir, Conrad Hagen. God be with you. I would like to trade with you, my friend. Yes, I would. I'd like to sell you some of my stuff so I can get back under my encumbrance limit. You know what? I am gonna sell that. I think. Why not? Maybe that's the only reason that I won, though, in the fight. Could be. I don't know. I could always buy another one. See anything I want? He's got an antidote. God, look at that's expensive for Savior Schnapps, man. Let's haggle. What are you gonna give me for this? I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. Good. I'm glad you understand the ways of haggling. How about seventy-five? Agree. We are getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. Okay. 72. I, for that amount, I can be persuaded. All right. Persuaded. Thank you for being persuaded. All right. Now, we can now sprint again. Yay! I love sprinting. Now, let's go and find our friend. Oh, he got up already. <laughs> Hello. Here I am. My name is Henry. Uh, We're supposed to go on patrol together. You report for duty dressed like that. I've got nothing better to do. Ooh. You'd look more frightening with a pitchfork. Go and get kitted out first. Uh-oh. I sold all my kitted out gear. <laughs> I'll manage like this. I'll get by like this. If you insist. But don't blame me if you get laughed at. I'll be fine. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Yes. Teresa. Yes, she I mean, his me. hat looks like she a turned silly up with bowl. Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I um, I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the oh. service of the bailiff? Um, I want to serve, yeah. I, yeah, that's true. I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. He does, Most I am lucky. would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Aw, this guy Don't is so forget, nice, too. I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. All right. I don't have a weapon, though. Is that going to be a problem? I hope not. 
This is our church, St. Matthew's. You must follow somebody. Slow down to a walk. Caps lock. Okay. That way, you won't alert your quarry as you stroll, as you can enjoy. It serves not only oh, as the house cool. of God, but as the crypt of the lords of Lipa, our masters. Okay. Cool. The grave digger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. My god, this game has the same problem as every Elder Scrolls game where I walk too this slow. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? Yes, it's very the large. The and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. Oh, that's why there was all kinds of books house. and stuff in there. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. I already Naturally, saw it. Naturally, we have an execution or two, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. I met him. This pillory <laughs> was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. Oh, great. The swordsmith lives here. Yeah. I've met him as well. But yeah, I don't walk quite fast enough when I walk, which is really annoying. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. Go to the church. Go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? Excuse me, armor smith, sir. Yay, what main level! What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, let's see. I mean, I understand that he doesn't want this, that he could deter people from his shop, right? I get it, but like, how is she bothering you? What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in a square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Why? Fog drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. <sighs> I think you ought to leave the poor woman be. <laughs> Why should I? Because... Oh. Probably this will work. Maybe. Because I told you to. Do you think I was born yesterday, youngster? I know my rights. And if you don't drive her away, I will. With a whip. What's your step, armorer? Raise a hand to that girl and you'll feel the full weight of the law. Ha! Think I'm afraid of you? Look at yourself, a ragged refugee. No one here will listen to you. I've lived here my whole life. I'm a respected trader and I won't have beggars in front of my shop. As you wish, Amra. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Amra? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. From the armorer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Oh, good grief. We'll both contribute to Fort Jane. He's got zero speech. We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. Yeah, problem solved. King Woo! Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine, have it your way. God bless you, and, and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. 
You're as bad as each other. Hey, see? What do you think? What do you think, Nightingale? Did I do it? You're not gonna, you're not, not gonna tell me how amazing I did? Do you like with that? Okay, guess not. <laughs> Your old neighbors are living here now. Uh -huh. It's a bit of a shithole. I know. Even so, you should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burgers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And uh. now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Zahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. I don't think that's a good father, idea. Old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it. First to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow. The same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Hope not. Jan Bertie Jessic. Excuse us, doggy. I like this quest. This is fun. We're helping with this, with the law. We're restoring the law. It looks like all the issues were probably going to be just like speech related, so I shouldn't have to do anything too crazy. But I wonder if I would have won the first argument if I was actually dressed like um, this square here properly. Looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Mm-hmm. lives. I think what I'm going to do is um, when it's nighttime, got the before we here, leave. And that mad merchant Wolfram Pruda. Pruda has a pretty daughter that he keeps her on a short range. Oh, the young hang on. Right here? Right here, you say? Right here? Okay, then. Thank you. Haha. <laughs> I was just going to say, what I'm going to do is wait till uh, dark and then go around and try all the doors until I find the one that unlocks with the key that I have. But he's just told me where it is. <laughs> we'll be visiting him tonight. Oh There's yes. One alehouse here on the market square, the Trader's Tavern. The other's up by the gate. Yeah. We'll be going there later. All right, cool. How long is this gonna take? By the way, do we do this like for the entire day? I'm not complaining. I'm just, you know, I just want to know. I'm just wondering. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Okay. Oh, that's the huntsman guy. He's got arrows too. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By yeah. Christ, I'll show the bastard. Why? He's just begging. He's not supposed to beg in here. Nest? Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hannah saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. God be with you, Henry. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Okay. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble, and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. All right, I hear but you're a blacksmith's apprentice, oh. too. You yeah. could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? Yeah. What do you mean? Ow. Oh, shit. That's that's stealing. That's okay, never mind. He was killed in Scullets. Sorry, I didn't know. Thank yeah. you. So am I. Sorry, My Papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same. But I know a little how you feel. I like this guy. He's nice. A 
Hello, innkeeper. Hello, dice guy. I'll be visiting you later. I'm thinking I might play some dice off camera, because it's fun. <laughs> but I don't want to subject you guys to it very, very often. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Yeah. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, and lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Merhoyed! Master Smil is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best battle. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Oh! This is where I got my stuff. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I've been to Merhoyed in the beta. That's why I was excited about that. Hello, friend. Adam. You look like a shady individual. Maybe Adam has some lockpicks. The pig is escaping! Maybe he's stuck. Where are we off to now? I'll be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. All I ask of you is a oh, I see. Now where might he have got to then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? In the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Oh, great. He's going to listen to me, I'm sure. Thank you, neighbor. You're a good Samaritan. Aww. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Huh? Move your carcass and oh, don't he's wasted. the gate. I, uh... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me. Jesus, Found out look where you're going. Oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! I thought you wanted me to talk to him. Hey. Let's have a drink. Oh. Okay, we tell him to stop drinking and then we just go have a drink. Okay. Are we going to play dice as well? Aren't we? Shouldn't we wait till he leaves so he doesn't, like, tattle on us or something? That fool got me all worked up. That's okay. Shouldn't we be on patrol? Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry. Even watchmen are entitled to a break. So Except wasn't... the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. Oh. But that's okay. enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. I see. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Oh. I was just saying how I wanted to Why play not? more dice. Good excuse. Game saved. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, so let's see if I can do better at this game this time. Um, so we need three of a kind, unless it's a one or a five, right? So, so we can't hold two sixes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can only hold this one for now, so we'll do score and roll again. And we'll hold for more. Okay. So, hold, hold. Um, so it'll be 250. I think I'll score and pass. Play it safe. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh boy. Hmm. Hey, uh, God's holy hat. hat. He didn't play it safe. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Ooh. All right. Can I not? Okay. Oh, that's not. Okay. Yeah. So, ooh, do I want to risk it? I think I'll risk it because he didn't get any points last time. Oh god, it's kind of kind of scurry though. It's kind of scurry. Oh. Holds score and pass. Got lucky. Hmm. Wait. Did, why didn't you hold both of your ones? Didn't he have two ones? Hmm. You better hold that, dude. Mm. Oh. Now I'm for the chop. See, I wouldn't have done that. But what do I know? Okay. Hold, hold, score and roll again. Score and pass. Shouldn't have pushed it. Um. <laughs> yeah, you should. You just got a bad roll that time, dude. All right, this time we got three of a three twos. Um. Again, I don't think we're gonna risk it. Might as well just take the points. He's got no points yet. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Is this guy's dice AI like supposed to be really bad? <laughs> feel bad. I don't think there's like there may not be a way for you to catch up unless you get like perfect hands. This'll be the one. This'll be the one. This'll be the one. Okay, so he's gonna go for it. Okay, you better hold that. Take those points, dude. Alright, good job. Let's see, what did I get? Got three fours, luckily. Let's roll again and give him a little ch a little chance, shall we? Okay, we got lucky there. Hold, score, and pass. And I win. Woo! Oh, okay. And it's night. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Oh, cool. Bringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate, we I close up at this it. hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. Ah. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging I mean, outside I, uh, the Rat House. I saw ring it. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Thanks, I have like 500 of them though. All right, cool. Thank you, sir. Yes, it is forbidden. Um, I wonder if I'm even gonna have time to do any thievery. Hello, hello, archery master. Hello, can I speak with you? My respects Arch to you. Archery master. Oh, I thought maybe you could have training, but you're not on duty anyway, so it makes sense. All right, so we're going down to this area to ring the bell, and then this is the trader's tavern. <clears throat> I think that was the trader's tavern, but I might be wrong. Gonna sprint with my torch. I was secretly hoping that I would get to like do the entire day of uh, 
patrol, just like be a guard for the whole day. I think that would be so cool. But uh, it's probably for the best that the game skipped ahead because, you know, that would have taken a really long time. And it probably would have been pretty boring on camera. But it's pretty cool. I like it. Life as a god in Rate. I'm not sure me being, um, you know, a Scalitz dude made any difference whatsoever, but hey, you know, we tried. Hello, Bailiff? What's going on? What's going on, Bailiff? Jesus Christ be praised. I'm doing the work. I'm doing stuff. How are you doing? Okay, the bell was right here. Use it three times, right? Close the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square. Yeah, okay, there. What time is it, by the way? Okay, it's just, it's just, um, sundown. So that's good, we might have a chance to do some conspicuous activities. If we can try and get away with it, possibly. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olympus oh was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town. Oh, <laughs> it's Hans. <laughs> no, no, no we, can, we, can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off, to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> they <laughs> do find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pig sty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to Pigs and pallets. God <laughs> save them bacon. <laughs> so Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, Ooh, shit. is he here? What, is he hiding under the table maybe? <laughs> No! Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. Oh, God, Henry! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. I already beat you twice, dude. <laughs> You're wasted. Oh, good lord. Alright, if you, if you... Alright, now you're dead. Um... <laughs> That'll teach you how to talk to your better. Oh, good lord. Good god. <laughs> I, I mean, I kind of want him to win this time because, yeah, because I feel bad for beating him the other times. Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is All happening right, here? All right, here we go. Hell, answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson by rolling around in the mud like a hog. That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to silence. You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? Yes. And you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? 
you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Ooh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Ooh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not anymore. Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's That's go. true. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. No more bailiff duties for Henry. I've only got two hands. Oh boy. Well, I probably shouldn't cause any any trouble tonight then. Although I don't know, maybe I could just The game did just save and the house is just right over here, you know. We have until dawn, you know? We have until dawn. We could probably uh how much inventory space do I have? Not a ton, but uh we could probably, you know, get some loot and um go back to the mill. I, th I feel like we could we could make this happen. I'm very noisy right now though, aren't I? 30 Actually not actually not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, now let's just find which house it is. Is it, in fact, it's one of these, I think. I think that's what he was looking at when he was talking, so. Um, and it, it, we may have to wait, though. Possibly. Have to wait until a little bit later. It all depends. Lockpick easy. Okay, I don't have the key for that, so it's maybe not that house. Is this a door? No. Oh, it's this door. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Cause it's, it's not quite, you know, super late. Like people might not be sleeping quite yet. So let's wait a little bit. I found the house though. We could make out pretty good if we're very, very careful. What do you think for a snack? Some salami. This will be perfect too, because I can just go back to the mill to sleep. With potentially all of my loot. Yes, I know, I'm in a private area. I am making a bit of noise though. Which is a little bit annoying. I wonder. Let's unequip that. Ten noise. How much noise is this making? Seventeen. Sixteen. Twelve. Uh, that's probably better. Okay. I'm in a private area. Yes, I know. This is, why is that open? Wait, okay. Where? I can't, I can't see anything. This must be like outside because it's so dark. Oh shit, I forgot I need to be walking too. I'm not running around like a crazy person in stealth.
Do I have the key for this? Yes. Okay, we'll take the potion, we'll take the bandages, um, we'll take that for, I guess, for a little bit of cash. Now, this guy apparently has a lot of loot in his house, though, so... Um, I definitely want to look around. Is he sleeping in here? Is it weird that nobody's he oh. Is that him? Here we go. Take that. Sunday dress. Okay. Is that him? Is that a guard? That looks like a guard. This goes back outside. Hmm. 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 Where is he then? Is there a place that I miss besides the downstairs area? There may be. I keep looking around. I'm tempted to use a torch in here. Close. Okay, yeah, this does. Oh! Ah! Okay. You know, those really aren't worth it. I'm gonna light a torch to take a chance here. Or not. Um, I think this is just the storage room, so I should be okay to light a torch. But I might be wrong I literally can see nothing but yeah I think it's just storage okay unfortunately there's not much here delicious what's this nothing okay. and that's about it Well then, I wonder where he is. Do you think he's got both buildings? Like what if, um, he has this building and this building? I don't think so though. Cause I already checked that one. Oh well, I got some loot. Let's get a torch out so we're not suspicious. And uh, we will head back to put this crap away. I do believe. Back to the mill. In fact, I could just fast travel there. Cause we're gonna sleep until dawn anyways, so. Oh, and we gotta go see Therese at the mill before noon. Mm. Have a relationship um, before noon. Does that mean that the quest will actually wear off and, you know, won't let me do it? I could see her uh, the first thing in the morning. Quick work. I thought Miller Peshek slept upstairs. Never mind. We should take that. Put my dagger in there. Okay, hunting boots, nightgown. All the felt hats. Here we go. I hope that someday I will um, be able to take a bath. I, don't, I didn't see where the baths were here, so I'm not sure if I will be able to, but hopefully. All right. 
Let's take a rest. This will also save the game, which is nice. We're going to sleep right until dawn and then see Teresa, I think, in the morning. Yes, indeed. Six. Wow. Miller Peshek is quite a snorer. Hopefully Henry can sleep next to him without any troubles. Game saved. Dude, Miller Peshek, are you feeling- are you like choking in your sleep? Do you need any help? Okay, we don't need our torch anymore. Eat from the pots. Delicious breakfast. We're now overnourished, which is fine. Nice and full. Therese. She must have slept upstairs, I suppose. Let's equip that sword. Now I've got a sword as well. That's good. Is she up here? I mean, I'm in a little bit of a hurry. I don't. I hate to wake her up, but I wouldn't mind, you know, getting a move on. Uh, got things to do today. What? No, go away. Fine. <laughs> Just wait around then for an hour. Hopefully she gets up. Cause I have to meet Hans to go hunting soon, you know? Got things to do. I think she's still sleeping. She's actually still sleeping. Nope, she's up, thank God. Ugh. Hello. How have you been? So, uh, how have you been? I can't stop thinking about Scarlet's. I know. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not a bad idea. And where would you care to go? Ooh, um, Gallows Hill's probably a bad idea, because that's where the Executioner is, and he doesn't like me. <laughs> oh, this sounds nice. What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? So romantic. Not now, but I'll pick you up later. Yeah, let's go now. Let's we go. We should still have time to get to Hans. Give, go and see Teresa before noon. If you must follow, walk somebody, slow down. Bloop. That way you won't alert your quarry and you can stroll and enjoy a pleasant stroll. Let's enjoy a pleasant stroll by the river. Oh! Uh, watch where you're going. Why did you just teleport? How rude. Trying to enjoy a pleasant stroll here, Teresa. Thank you. I should wash the grog out of my eyes in this de definitely clean water. Alright, you lead the way to the stroll. I feel like taking taking a lady to the that tavern a idea to go for a walk. It's not very romantic. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it. So I'm glad you took me out. You're you're welcome. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly though. Yeah. So many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> Jeez, Henry. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too. So don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what. 
Let's not dawdle. Last one is a slimy. Hey, look out! Doesn't even know how to apologize. I'm sorry. Do I, am I supposed to let her win? I'm not sure if I should let her win or not. <laughs> Last one is a rotten egg. I mean, if I let her win, will she like me more? I don't know if Henry will be pissy about it, though. He does seem like the type. <laughs> what is it? Stop running into her, Henry. It's very rude. Can you keep up, Teresa? like a nice spot. <laughs> that was fun. Wasn't it though? Yes. Sit down here next to me, Hal. Okay, good. It wasn't a competition. That's nice. Sit with Teresa. Ooh. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well. And I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Ooh, um... Uh, I don't know. I suppose it's a job like any other. Of course. I'm sure it's no different than being a charcoal burner. You'll have to try harder than that. Sorry? <laughs> Ooh, helmet's off. Oh, boy. Aww. And just like that, now Bianca then. leaves his mind. Oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. She's only got four. <laughs> I hope your knees don't, didn't buckle. I have my hands full with my duties. That's actually really true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> turning girls' heads. Not likely. I have my hands full with my duties. Sir Radzik hardly gives me time to take a breath. Really? A common smith's son and our liege lord can't manage without him. That's good. It shows you're talented. But now I have to go. Why? Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. What, Bella? <laughs> Thank you for coming with me. Please come and see me again. Okay, I will do that. Uh -huh. yes indeed, yes indeed. I will, I will, Teresa. Can I see you right now? I miss you already. Fancy doing something again? Actually, you probably shouldn't because I'd like, I'd to, like know. to know. I should. I really should be getting. Ooh, what about Hans? Who's yeah. this Sir Hans Capon? He's actually the real Lord of Rattay, and Sir Hanish is only his guardian, because Sir Hans is underage and his father is dead. Folks say he's a spoilt young pup with an eye for the lasses. He seems like it. I don't- he doesn't seem all that bad, though. Like, as That's far right. as bratty young folk go, you know? Plus, we're gonna go on a hunt today, together, and we're gonna bond. I have a feeling. Meet Lord Com oh. Uh-oh. Did I miss this? <laughs> at dawn. Uh, maybe it will let me do it the next day at dawn? Uh-oh. I hope I didn't completely ruin that quest. <laughs> Probably not. It's the main quest, right? It'll, it, should, it should still let me do it. Though, although there might be consequences for being late. That'd be pretty hilarious, though. I kind of like... I kind of like the thought of that. Let's go see what happens. I was gonna end the episode, but I kind of want to see... I kind of want to see what'll happen. Is he gonna, like, just have been waiting there for me? <laughs> God damn it, Henry, you can't even be on time! But there was a lady! I didn't think we would have to... I think didn't think that I would have to go there again, so I didn't pay attention. Well, that shows what I know, doesn't it? Yes. Hi. Do, does this lead downwards? 
Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, shit. Dark. <laughs> Can I fast travel? Um. Uh, oh, dear. I may have. I think I just locked myself in here with this with this guy. Um sir would you mind letting me out? Uh Oh uh! Ow. Well that's I didn't actually mean to jump off, but uh Oh boy. Oh boy. All of a sudden things are going very wrong. <laughs> I have some stolen bandages, don't I? Or are they none of them stolen anymore? I guess they're not. Um, yes. I guess I should heal myself. There we go. I broke, <laughs> I broke both of my feet. Good job, Sir Henry. And I broke my feet again. Oh, brave Sir Henry. I like how he doesn't say ow, though, or anything. He's just like, whatever. Honestly, I'm probably gonna reload. This was a very embarrassing escapade of, <laughs> of falling in the brush off of the castle after locking myself in a tower on accident. <laughs> There's not many times that I'm willing to reload, but that was just very goofy, and it was kind of a test as well. What is oh, it? Did we are did we not? Oh shit! Did I not do this yet? Wait, this is is this before we go on the walk? Oh god damn it! Uh, Lord Almighty! Oh now I have to do the walk again. I thought it saved after the walk. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> I'll do the walk again and do everything exactly the same, and then um, I'll, I will find the place I'm actually supposed to go to at the beginning of next episode and see if I can still do it uh, without pissing everyone off. It should be interesting, right? It may have been worth waiting to do the Teresa quest until the next day, but Henry couldn't wait. He wanted to do the courtship quest, okay? We'll see how it goes. We can always reload an earlier save, too, if I break everything. But <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Go for a walk. I will see you guys next time for a new one. A brand spanking new episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.